Verse 30, he educates now spiritually. For in the resurrection, what is resurrection? Resurrection is different than res, uh, resuscitation. I talked about that, I think, last time, I think. Well, uh, 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 Christ raised Lazarus from the dead, but that was not a resurrection. Lazarus had the same kind of body he had before, a body that was going to die. He was resuscitated, but he was not res resurrected. In the resurrection, you lose all the physical, and you are a spiritual being. So he says here, for in the resurrection, meaning you've left the flesh. They neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. Now here he makes a comparison between the spirit, the departed spirit of a man or woman. He makes a connection between them and the angels in heaven. What's the connection? What we've known as a man is no longer a man. He doesn't have this physical body. Man, woman, female. Spirit leaves out, he's a spiritual being now. He's still a son of God if he's a believer or she's a believer. He or she is still a son of God. Now we call the women who are redeemed, we call them sisters. And I understand from the standpoint of being in a, in a setting and you have males and females and the Bible said that the women, the older women shall teach the younger women, right? But then he says the men, you know, he gives, he, that you got, you got those that, that's teaching the whole congregation or whatnot. You need to be able to know this is a female, this is a male. For the earth. But in the spirit, there is no male or female. A female believer is a son of the Most High. Yes, I said it. I said it. And she should be happy. In her spirit, she's a son. Why? Because she bears the image of the Father. She is born again, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. You are a new creature, new species of being, new creation. It doesn't have to do by your, your, your feet. Or the, or the parts a woman have that a man doesn't have. That doesn't have nothing to do with the spirit. So he said, when you get to heaven, you're going to be like the angels. What are the angels? They don't have no body of dust. Now, they are able to transform themselves and take on certain images and appearances, but that's not their full nature. We know they can take on different appearances. We see it throughout scripture. Angels come down and they, they, people think they're seeing a man. And, they, you know, you're dealing with an actual angel. You, you entertain angels unaware. This is how we got into the whole problem there in Genesis chapter 6 where the women uh, slept with the sons of God. That sons of God, there's angels. Now some people don't want to teach the fullness of it because their minds is down on gnosis. Even though the Bible says that from that union came giants, Nephilim. Then when you look, when, then when you look later, you see that, that Abraham was dealing with these beings. I say Abraham. Noah was dealing with these beings. That's why the Most High corrupted the world. I mean, that's why the Most High destroyed the earth, because of the corruption from these beings, this mixture. Spiritual beings mating with physical women produce giants. That's what the scripture says. Now, just because you don't want to believe it and you're scared to teach it because you don't know how to teach it, because in seminary, they haven't taken you to that epi. They haven't taken you to the epinosis. But if you get in the realm of the spirit and you open the scripture, the Holy Spirit will begin to show you that even the children of Israel fought. Some of the descendants from these beings. These beings that were mixed between a human and spiritual. Where do you think Goliath come from? Where the king are? Where these guys, where these guys, they, they come from? These giants that Israel took out. Where do you think they came from? And the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days today. So that tells me that even now this stuff is taking place. See, people don't capture it because they're not thinking. Look at your Avengers. Why do you think they're constantly showing you about somebody coming to the earth? They, they, they walk. You got, you got the Hulk. He, he looks like a man, but he ain't really a man. You got an Iron Man. He looks like a man, but he's part mechanical, transhumanism. They're telling you what they're doing. Captain America and all of these, they're feeding you that because over a period of time, there are going to be beings here that, pe that are not going to be human. Even though they're going to have like human form, they will not be human. Iron Man shows you. He don't have a real heart. 
They're getting you used to it. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Right here today, we're going to be like in the days of Noah. There are things happening right now, you just don't know nothing about a lot of it. You're going to hear more sightings. You're going to hear more seeing things. You can call me crazy. You can call me crazy all you want. Here, here's what happened. Confidence comes with spending time with the Most High. You got people now seeing beings. They tell me they see beans in the mall. They see beans in the backyard and all the rest of this. And people laugh about it. Keep on laughing. <laughs> Keep on laughing. Keep on laughing. The, 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 the church has kept the body ignorant. There are beings that's going to populate this earth that are not what the Most High made. I'll leave that there. I don't preach to please men. I do not. I do not. I don't do it for followers. I don't care five people. On it. I, in, in fact, if it get to where it's zero and nobody want to hear it, then, then time for me to go home. I don't preach for people to follow and like that. No way. You already got people here living now that's not fully human. And transhumanism is going to be a, become a big part. Through their science and all the stuff they're going to be able to do, creating parts and all of this, you already got things that they could do. Saying Saints are just ignorant of it. The Bible tells us, though, don't be ignorant of Satan's devices. That means his strategies and his intent. He don't like us. He don't want a full human person. You're going to see what they call robots and all of this. They already got one called Sophia. They got, they got, they got a lot of stuff. They got stuff they're doing you, that if you don't study, you don't know what they're doing. But they got stuff right now that will blow people's minds. But they, they, they stuck in the church doing their, what they're doing. They, they're not aware. So when Christ finished saying, he said, uh, uh, you do err, verse 29, not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God, for in the resurrection there's neither marriage or giving in marriage. In heaven there ain't going to be no marriage. For what? Whoever's dead is going to be there. We don't need to populate again. That was for earth. Heaven existed way before we were down here on earth. That was the most highest project, the most highest thing he wanted to do to create a colony as i like to say it on earth and make it of the place make him part like me spirit he's spiritual he's spiritual but he's of the earth to watch a people grow and mature and and procreate and use the the different resources i put down that was a beautiful thing for the most high to watch but the most high is not a man no he's not christ the most high became a man for a season the I am became the I am Savior for a season. Then after that, he resurrected, take it, took on a body that was not like the body he had before. He could walk through walls and at the same time eat fish. You go walk through a wall. Go ahead. Get your running start and go through that brick wall and see what happens. Your body's up there. Gnosis. It, it operates on this level. But when he resurrected, his body was greater than that of a man. Physical dust. He go walk through the wall and come in and let Thomas, told Thomas, look, look, put your hand here. But at the same time, eat fish. It's above our ability to understand things. The Apostle Paul, I think in 1 Corinthians 15, 2 Corinthians 15, I think it's first, describes it. He said, I can't tell you what the body's going to look like. He said, they're bodies of, they're different bodies. You got bodies in the, in the heavenly realm, so far as the sun, being in the second heaven or whatnot. The sun and the moon and all of that. Different things have different bodies. Fish has a body. This has a body. I, he said, I can't describe to you. <laughs> but whatever that body is going to be, it's going to be great. And watch this. It's going to be like his. Now, some people, I don't know. I, there are scriptures you can read where Christ is walking along with some gentlemen. He's right there with them. Talking to them. They didn't know who he was. Why? This is what I asked of the scripture. See, I asked questions. Why they didn't know who he was? He was right there talking to him. They knew what he looked like. What, what was going on? I asked the most high. Why could those men that he was walking there with not know who he was? He used the scripture and said certain things. And when he said certain things, I think that caught the ear. Like, whoa, that sounds like the master. And then it's like he disappeared or whatever. See, people don't talk about that. Why didn't they notice him? I can't tell you why they didn't. I will say this to you.